Welcome back to Score Golf TV's Year in Review, and it's time now, Jason, to look at the year as far as the Canadians were concerned, and it was a pretty good year when you consider professional tours, the amateur tours, on a number of different tours and a number of different parts of the world as well. Canadians performed admirably. Why don't you start off with uh, some of your highlights? Well, yeah, I think uh, most golf fans tend to just focus primarily on the PJ Tour, and as you said, it, it was a solid season. Graham Dillette played well, David Hearn played well, Mike Weir almost won an event, which was a big story, but away from the PJ Tour, you had Adam Hadwin winning multiple times on the Web.com Tour, he had Roger Sloan winning on the web.com tour. Both of those players earned PGA Tour cards. And on the amateur level, Bob, Brooke Henderson, um, the way she played at the U.S. Women's Amateur, a runner-up. Corey Connors was a runner-up at the Men's Amateur. The World Amateur teams both played excellent overseas. Brooke Henderson was a, the top amateur in the U.S. Women's Open. So it wasn't just about PGA Tour success this year. It was uh, the web.com tour and the amateur scene where Canadians really excelled. Uh, let, let's take a little look at some of the some of the standouts. You mentioned Brooke Henderson, obviously, who had a tremendous year. But let, let's start off with, with, uh, with Graeme Dillette. And obviously, Graeme Dillette didn't get his win uh, that a lot of people were looking for. I think he was looking for it. And so on that level, it might be a little bit disappointing. But overall, I'd say probably a pretty good year for Graeme Dillette again. Well, yeah, you look at the way he started this season. I think he had five top tens in his first six events. He had two runner-up finishes which obviously paved the way for a lot of that talk of him winning his first event. With Graham, it's always going to be the same thing. Tita Green, one of the best players in the world. It's always going to be his putter that holds him back, and I think he's still experimenting with a new grip, a new way of uh, the left hand low. He's getting comfortable with it. Once he gets that figured out, I think the first one's going to come in the second, in the third, and the fourth. You mentioned about winning, and a guy who almost won this year kind of surprised everybody, to be honest, I think maybe even himself a little bit, was Mike Weir. And I think with Mike Weir's performance, uh, Itha Byron Nelson secured his playing privileges for 2015. Uh, he's now working with a new coach, Martin Ayers, who he says is really getting getting down to some basics for him. All he's doing is working on simple things, alignment, setup, where to aim. He said he had a two or three hour session on the range one day and only hit 20 golf balls. So that's quite a showing for Mike Weir. But I think we can perhaps, even at uh, a guy who's gonna turn 45 next year, maybe there's some better days ahead for Mike Weir, if not necessarily green jacket days ahead. Um, Let's move on to, to David Hearn. What do you think about David Hearn's year? I think a very solid one. Steady. Steady as she goes for David Hearn, and that's really the type of player he's become. Um, gone are the days when we were wondering if David Hearn would keep his exempt status. Now are the days when we're wondering if David Hearn can break through and enter the work winner circle the way he almost did in 2013 at the John Deere. Another year of a million dollars. And as one player said to me who is joining the PGA Tour, how many times did you see David Hearn on TV? Not that much. But he wins a million dollars. He's in no danger at all of losing his playing privilege. So those guys coming up onto the web.com or from the web.com tour, Hadwin and Roger Sloan, they would love to be the next David Hearn. Well, he's going to have to uh, earn even more money next year. Uh, something that you know about. He's having a, a baby coming up uh, very shortly here as well. Um, let's finish up with Adam Hadwin, who is obviously the guy with the most momentum as we head into 2015. One of the best swings in the world, really. His golf swing is just, uh, it's really, really fun to watch and I think Adam's reached that point now where he was always confident in himself but I think his confidence is at a whole new level now because of that win earlier in the season uh, because of the win late in the season and because he knows that entering the 2015 season he not only has a PJ Tour card he's got very good status and there's a good chance that he's going to be able to play 20 plus events so for him uh, he's at totally at ease joining the next level especially because some of the, the past instances he's had playing in the Canadian Open playing so well there.